trends come and go, but already this year there are some bold new trends emerging. Here to talk us through what's happening in 2019 is skin and beauty expert Ingrid Seaburn. Morning, Ingrid. Hi, Start with skin. What is yes. in for skin? What is in for skin? You know, there's a couple of things that are really making an impact for this year. One of the things which, as a skincare therapist, has been around for a little while, but really for the general public is really sort of making a statement yeah. now for this year, is enzyme-based uh, exfoliating cleansers. So right. what happens is you have, and I've just got a couple there, the Kate Somerville, the Osmosis, which I always go back to. What it is is a combination of an exfoliant and a cleanser using an AHA, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, or a, a BHA, which is a beta hydroxy acid. And it's really just giving that skin, you know, a deep cleanse and a very mild exfoliation. It's, you know, it's not really a new thing, but it seems to be that this year, you know, there's a couple of companies, particularly, uh, you know, Korean Beauty, which is really, yeah, you know, huge. having an impact, you know, yeah. all, all around the world, uh, are starting to, to notice that as a, as a trend for what to use. And particularly in summer, it's great because, you know, your skin gets really super oily and grimy and it gives it a great cleanse. So. Okay. And what's another skincare trend? The other skincare trend, which is fabulous, finally we can do this at home, is the dermal roller. So Ooh, what's that? Dermal rollers are so much fun. So it looks like a crazy little contraption. Basically it's a lot of little micro needles and what the micro needles do is they create tiny little punctures in your skin. Now depending on the depth of the roller, Depend, you know, depends on what the result will be. But for at-home use, there's some really cute little ones that are perfectly safe to use. You roll the skin, it does two things. It causes a very minor trauma to the skin. So anytime you create trauma, you're renewing some cell, you know, right. regeneration. And the second thing it does is it helps with product absorption. So after you've rolled, your skin, you know, you cleanse, you roll, then you put your serums on and it really helps, you know, to get things beautifully absorbed into your skin. Is there downtime from that? Does it make your skin red or anything? You know or? what, depending on your skin sensitivity, it really is something that you just have to kind of play around with. Can but I there's a, a few on the market, Ange, and, you know, I'm a huge fan of them. I use them in my, my treatments with my clients, but, you know, for at-home use, you really can do, you know, I'd say once or twice a week, okay. and that will give your skin, you know, just that little bit of extra boost. Fabulous. And right. so easy to use. Okay. So easy to use. Now, it's time to introduce our beautiful model, Rachel, because you're going to be talking about hair trends. We are going to be talking about hair trends. Hair trends, as you can see, we have the gorgeous Rachel with her amazing grey hair. And when I say grey, I mean fabulous grey, because the thing with grey this year, and I don't know whether it's something to do with, you know, as, a, as this, the women's movement of fighting ageism and sexism and all the things that are going on, you know, currently, I think... I think women embracing their greys is a fabulous thing. And look, it's not for everybody, but I do think it's really making a bold statement. And it is trending, you know, it's right. really trending. And Rachel today, you know, we... we Rachel took one is a for the team today. She did. She's a lovely friend of mine. She has antler... Uh, hairdressing in Bondi, so she knows what she's talking All about. Right. And what she did you also... look like before? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at Rachel. There we so go. There she okay. is, you know, still gorgeous, beautiful, and then she transformed to the gorgeous darker silver tones for today. And She's really rocking it. It looks amazing, Rachel. So I'm so grateful that she did that for us today. And look, it is something, you know, that if you want to go for it and you want to do even just a semi-permanent tint and just try it out for a bit of fun, go for it because it definitely is trending. We did it's see fabulous. a lot of silver hair and a lot of grey hair on the did red you? carpet at the Golden Globes. People like Jamie Lee Curtis and Glenn Close She's, embracing those yeah, looks. Yeah, exactly. And it's all part of, you know, that fight against ageism, yeah. I think. Yeah. Now, what about makeup trends? We always okay. need to know so what's happening makeup there. Makeup trends. You know, when I first, uh, you know, did thought about what this segment was going to be, I kind of called it the good, the bad, and the ugly because okay. not all trends, not all trends are for everybody. Okay. And, and today we're talking about trends. So you know, you either love it or you hate it. Okay, let's uh, hit so, it. Hit okay, it. so makeup. So the trend you again, for Rachel. makeup this this year <gasps> is really bold colours. That is a bold and colour. I know, right? It's so it's yellow. That is high vis. It's high vis. <laughs> so I'm going to try and make Rachel Okay. 
You're going to have high vis eyes, Rachel. Work the, the yellow. It's one of those things that you really just can embrace it again or you can have a bit of fun with it. I don't know whether it's particularly for the more mature women, but you know what? If you want to have a go with it and just have a bit of fun, I say why not? So it millennials really is... go for it? Yeah, I mean, girls like Hayley Baldwin, mm -hmm. you know, she's doing... You know, Margot Robbie, I think, had a beautiful yellow... <gasps> She had, a, she had a yellow and a sparkly eyeshadow on when I interviewed her at the... Um, so it's definitely happening. Peter Rabbit it's premiere, definitely yeah. Happening. A lot of these trends, you know, are coming off the catwalk, so a lot of these trends are so bold and, you know, but to be able to translate that into everyday streetwear, you know, if you can do it and you're happy to try and experiment, then why not? And I'm just doing a really light yellow on Rachel because... Yeah, because that's probably enough well, of a colour that's, that, that's that bright. Today, What's but, on the yeah. lip that goes so with the that? Lip, OK, so this, the lip, the lip I'm really not a fan of, but you know what, <laughs> if you want to do... What do you really bold, think? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do a bold lip, let's go really <gasps> bold. Holy I know, crazy, moly. right? I'm calling it mulberry, but let's be honest, it's purple. And I'm going to try to not scare Rachel too much, but just give her a really bold look to start her Friday. She can go straight to the disco from here. Rachel, and you still look incredible, bless you. She still looks gorgeous. She'd look gorgeous. With purple eyeshadow, anything. with purple lipstick yeah. and yellow eyeshadow, you still look amazing. Actually, you so look you beautiful. Do. Might You're be, beautiful. Might anyway, be a trend. Yeah. Might not be for everyone, but it's that's everyone, how you can pull it you off. Know, bold is the trend, and if you want to have some fun, go for it, I say. Absolutely. And for more beauty and skincare advice, head to ingridseaburn.com.au. Yes, I've got that right. Com, not au. Ingrid, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you, Rachel.